Hey folks, in today's video tutorial I'd like to continue with the previous tutorial how to increase the efficiency by Creo Map Key and in the previous tutorial I have been focusing on the quick explanation of the navigation map key and general map key. Today we will continue with the sketch map key and some modeling and you can download all necessary files, the configuration file with the map keys and the PDF file with explanation directly on the 4 kcom and section download yeah so please visit my web page and I'd like to continue so what we would like to do is I will move it here a little bit and we would like to explain how to read the extrude or how to reuse the extrude map key, reveal map key, sketch map key and so on so short explanation Maybe not all of them, but maybe most used and under the one are really easy to understand. So if I will create new 3D model, simply cr control and from the keyboard, it's a standard Windows shortcut. And we would like to start, for example, extrude feature. You can do it manually, yeah? but for today I'm focusing on the custom enhancement of the map key. So double E, e, -E from the keyboard and the system allowed to me to jump into sketch. In the sketch you see right now that I do not use the option that system will automatically jump into 2D orientation and but you know that it's possible to select this icon sketch view. But many many times I use that my left hand is directly on the keyboard because you need to write some values or some inputs from the keyboard so it's perfect. And what we would like to do is sketch view. Simply easy to remember because sketch is beginning with S, view is view, so SV from the keyboard and the system will jump into the e orientation. Perfect. And base modeling in the sketch. What we would like to do is rectangle RT. Yeah, arc is three sequences because I do not found anything better. You can see right now that I can simply and easy create arc or double C. I will select the circle or you would like to use the DC as the delete segment DC and you can delete what you want. If you would like to create the line, no problem. And again, you can continue. And if you would like to use the trim TR and the system will allow to use the trim functionality. So you can see that I don't need to move my mouse so much, only I will select some information from the keyboard. You would like to finish the sketch, OK, perfect. And you can finish with middle mouse button. So really quick. Sometimes if you will use the, for example, revolve feature, RE, yeah, revolve, Again, on the first time I will confirm and then the system never ever will ask me that I don't want to use the default Creo R functionality or R shortcut. So right now I would like to create a Revolve feature. Perfect. I'm working on Revolve because I can see here in model tree <clears throat> and I say, oh, and no, no, I'd like to use the extrude again. What does it mean? You need to cancel and run the feature again. So I don't want to move my mouse. Yeah. So you can use the simply exit sketch, exit from sketch. So EC and then EE and the system will automatically jump into extrude. So it's perfect. Yeah. And or opposite, you are in the extrude feature or in additional feature. Doesn't matter where you are. You would like to go away from the sketch. So exit sketch EC and then you can choose what you want, for example, RE, and then I will continue with real feature. Okay, for now, I didn't create the icon for the center line here, because this center line, you know, that is the axis of revolution. You can create your custom map key, no problem. You can see here that is the center line here, CL, but be careful, this center line is for mirroring. Because you know that from the Creo 1 until the Creo 6, if you would like to have a mirrored feature, you need to use this icon or the functionalities, the center line. 
and then the system allowed to you to use the mirroring. With Creo 7 it's fine because you can use for mirror feature in the sketch directly any entity and it's not necessary to create the center line. But I'm using Creo 2, 3, 4, 5, doesn't matter. So I use always center line if I need to make some center of the object. Yeah, something like this, doesn't matter for now. I will only show you that if you are in the sketch, you can create something and then I will mirror around the center line. And if I would like to create some axis of revolution, I will use this one manually. Yeah. Or because you know that it's the possible to use the axis of revolution directly in the sketch and many many times you are using the external axis so you are using this one and then everything is fine yeah so you can select as the external axis from the sketch any entity again some edge for example and the system will create necessary revolve feature okay so in today's video tutorial you have seen how it's possible to use the extrude revolve feature by map key and then a couple of really quick example how it's possible to create a, for example a rectangle in the sketch or line or a center line or delete segment and so on and so on please try by yourself and start to use it